Hi guys! Welcome back to Eat With More Love. Love. Today we are having some chicken wings with sweet and sour sauce. Since um, we have people eating chicken wings that are dragging whole families on the internet and <laughs> talking mess and people who want people to bow down to them who are saying very very high unreasonable expectations very wow. unreasonable people that won't apologize and we're going to talk about all of that but yes. first again we're having some chicken wings we have a couple of different a few different sauces this one is sweet and spicy dip. Yes. See that? And this is also some sweet and uh, sour with a little chili sauce. It came with the chicken. Got our crystal. Can't have, crystal. can't have some chicken without some crystal. And we have here some orange sauce. Yeah, delicious. Yes. And I have some yummy sweet and sour sauce. This is my favorite brand. It's the Panda Express brand. Mm, mm, mm. Cannot wait. Where at first we're gonna let uh, more love say grace. Yes. And then we're gonna talk about people who think God is trying. People are trying to take away what God has for them. Mm. All right. Let's go on and pray about. Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for this food we're about to receive. Nourish our bodies, Lord. Let there be nothing that is in this food that isn't of you. Bless those who are less fortunate. And we bless this all in your wonderful name. Amen. 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 Wow. So, um, today something interesting happened where all the videos disappeared. Disappeared. Both the exposing videos disappeared. And also... The, it wasn't an apology. It was just my truth or something like that. Well, first, back it up just a little bit. Just a little okay. bit. Okay. Talk about what you're talking about. So, we, because we are transparent on Eat With More Love, we don't ha have any subliminal messaging. Not yes. at all. Yeah, we we, are, we're not doing subliminal we're not here. Doing, you are absolutely right. We are mm -hmm. talking specifically about the incident with Eat With Q and uh be loved life and, and, and it exactly. really wasn't about you know people are saying oh it's a beef between them it was no beef it was one individual eat with q dragging a whole family online and disrespecting them you know we're gonna be Absolutely. we're gonna be very candid here we're gonna say we're just gonna say how we feel how we feel right? how it affected us and, and we're just gonna be honest about our feelings about the whole thing so mm -hmm. But well, first, first some chicken. Mm -hmm. chicken. <laughs> mm. I just want to say this. I totally respect Beloved for and her family, first of all, because I mean, what they did because of what happened, what she did, what um, mm -hmm. Q did, the way they handled it was just awesome it was really awesome the way yeah. they did that because absolutely it could have went a whole bunch of other different ways and i respect her for the way her family her kids and her husband everybody handled it they did it real it was very classy very classy. very classy kudos, that's the word they never yes. once in their reply disrespected her mm -hmm. never said anything bad about her they they, you know, as everyone is saying, they brought their receipts. They told the truth. Mm -hmm. They told their truth from their experience because mm. we all know perception is everything. Mm -hmm. And the whole situation shouldn't have been initiated the way that it was in the first place. Yeah. Um, you know, we're all grown. And if you have a problem with someone, call them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Talk Let to them, them know, like, it. hey, I wasn't feeling the energy when you guys, you know, are at your house. Are we good? Are we cool? Right. Whatever. That that's the Christian thing. If, if that's what you're calling yourself, while you're right. singing gospel hymns. <laughs> while period. you're singing gospel hymns, while you're bringing God into all of this. Right. God has nothing to do with the way you treated that family. And I'm just going to say this. 
I was so appalled at the way they talked about Jarius and oh, calling him a queen yes. and sis and all of this. Mm -hmm. That is, to me, it's a child. He's still in high school. That was not cool for a grown woman. And he to doesn't do. reference himself as a queen or a sis. So, so why even, should you? It's even more insulting. And frankly, it's homophobic. It's, right. it's frankly homophobic. You know, and one thing I will say, um, you kind of got your start. You kind of got your foot in the door on the makeup channel. And you're talking about going to, you know, these um, comp, these YouTube. Um, like Beauty Con com, and a all beauty, that. Going to Beauty Con where there's a lot of, you know, the, um, makeup artists who are who are gay. And I don't think they find it cute, uh, you know, for you to be calling another guy who, by the way, let me be clear. Mm -hmm. He has never classified himself as being yeah. gay. So that's not fair for you ladies to call him, or well, for you to call him sis or queen. <clears throat> the fact that you took six months to even put the video out yeah. was disturbing. I mean, first of all, you should have just called. You that, that's the first called. thing. I and then the all the phony, you know, you want to sit there and say, oh, the whole family is fake and phony. They didn't... When we came to the door, they didn't dance a jig for us, and they didn't see They didn't throw our red carpet. Mm -hmm. so, they didn't uh, bow to so our have, feet or I anything. A, I have a question. Why do you guys think that she waited six months to come out with this video? Why Why the delay on coming out with her quote-unquote truth? After using her name, by the way, in tags. Right. And so I'm, I'm going to say this, and it's not in any defense of Q, because I have no defense for Q. I'm going to be honest. Um... Her friend, Eat With Keem, he did say right after she came back from doing the collab with Beloved that she said, he told her all these things that she said in, in the video. Mm. So I just learned that watching his so channel that um, today. So, and he, <laughs> he told her, don't do that. You know, mm -hmm. you shouldn't do that. Call her. Yeah, why not? Um, be a woman. Her. Be a woman about mm. yours. That that part. Part. <laughs> and how were you raised? I, I'm just going to say, you I have people. I have two school. daughters. They are about Q's age and Chelsea's age. And when they are going through something, they call me and they talk to me and we talk it out. And there is no way. First of all, they wouldn't even thought about doing it that way. But right. I would have gave them advice. You know what? Call, call beloved. Talk to her. See what's going on. And I guarantee right. you, she would have invited you right. back to right. her home. And said, "Hey, let's make this right. Let's let's do a do over." Right, and just like she said, me as a mother, I would have said maybe there was something going on because I wasn't there. Right, but I would assume it's something going on. So why don't you call her? Yeah, yeah. find out. out what happened. Instead and of, she still instead wants of you to call her. She family. still wants you to call her in her live. Yeah, was it yesterday? Saturday? A couple well, days ago? Yeah, yeah, yesterday. She's like, "You guys, tell tell her to call me." And, you know, we leave comments. Call her. Yeah. She wants to talk about it. She's still willing to I talk mean, to you about it after that. you drug her whole family through the street. And she said Every that last before one she their, made her apology. My, my, my confusion, too, is like, you know, there's a, how many of the... Uh, it, it's what? A family of five? Family of four? Mm -hmm. Four people who you came and you were visiting. And all of a sudden... You are trying to cut. You guys distracted me with this. <laughs> I'm like, come in the camera. Okay, okay come on in okay. the camera. Yeah, that's what, we okay. that's what we tried to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So it's about four of them and one of you. How is all all four family members disrespected you? Like. Where do you go Everybody where just everybody's is. just crazy? And you were like, and the people at the store okay, are crazy. Okay, Q, you said they treated you like a peasant. Do you know how peasants are treated? They don't feed you. And there's pitch. they don't pay for your food. Yeah. They don't. They don't give they you don't, money. They don't order pizza after the videos are over and say, "Hey, you want to, here's some pizza, here's some drinks." They don't do that. Mm -hmm. And no one else that was there felt that way. And if you cried eight hours on the way home, I'm this sorry, you is. might want to see a psychologist. This you might is. have some <laughs> mental issues that you're dealing with. I'm not trying to be funny because mental illness is a serious it's illness really and it affects people in a lot of different ways. Yes. And it's hard to pinpoint. The thing is, is everybody has some type of mental 
stuff going on in their mind. Not every, I mean, I you know, everybody. <laughs> Not hard, don't she don't. Really. But, <laughs> <laughs> but really, now this is keeping it far. real. You know what? You If you have it, it's okay. Mm-hmm. You ain't the only one taking pills. There's other people too. But if you maintain yourself and you taking some or you need some or you don't, whatever you need to do, do it. The bottom line though is wrong is wrong and right is right. That you know, part. if you're mm-hmm. wrong, because we all perceive things wrong. We all have times, you know, I've had a boss or I perceive things completely oh, wrong. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. But she comes to me as her mom. And I talks come and to me I say, it. look, am I, am I over analyzing this person? All am the time. I we talk about stuff like that all the time. Situation. You know, um, what do you think? Here's what's happening. Here are the facts. Mm-hmm. Am I am I being overly emotional? Because sometimes we can be overly emotional. We can overthink things. So, right, right. Hey, sometimes you got to step back and say, you know what? I was totally messed up in that situation. I was wrong. I perceived something that really wasn't the truth. Now that this person this has expressed so their yeah, side of like it. Right. You're you say absolutely you're wrong. Right. Don't take down your videos. <clears throat> Don't have an, uh, an apology and then take the apology And then take down. it down and then throw your sister who was... Uh, let me so give a shout out to Chelsea. Mm. You know what, Chelsea? You made me think about things in life a little differently. Mm-hmm. About how I react, how I handle stuff, how I can... It's okay to say I'm wrong. It's mm-hmm. okay. It's okay to it's say. It's hard, but you it's know okay. what? It's hard, but it's okay. And you know what? At the end of the day, people respect you more mm-hmm. when you do that. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. and you know, and 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 she uh, Q wants to say, oh, this was my experience. Can't nobody take away from my experience. We're not taking away from your experience, but we're asking you to look at the situation mm-hmm. and maybe say, you know what? Maybe I was a little off here. Yeah. Or, 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 or I, I definitely read their energy the wrong their, way. Their energy wrong. They're running a business, honey. At the end of the day, it was not a, really a business move to have you there. If it was, it was a benefit to you. Hello. When you say, oh, this was a business move. If someone has a million subscribers and you have less than 100,000, the business move was on For your you. behalf. And like Beloved said, she's seen another young YouTuber grinding another like she black grinds. Another woman like herself. Right. We have it hard enough already. Right. We don't we can't be in these YouTube down. streets fighting that with each part. other. We can't let people see that and If we have issues with each other, we need to come, we need to come, come together and talk, and talk about it. And I'm going to say, you know, people or a lot of people like, oh, that's between Beloved and Q. No, because Q used us as she used the whole YouTube community, viewers, other YouTubers Mm -hmm. as the court of public opinion. The sad thing about the fact that she was trying to use the community to come back at be love and be like, oh, we heard what happened. It turned around on you. And I and I left a comment for you and it clearly says God has a way to humble you. Be careful right. what you say when you use God. You better say that, girl. In right. your sentence, you, you when you're all your day long, and God is singing gospel uh, songs, and no weapon formed against me. You forming the weapon against yourself, but and we are our worst own enemies, and right. that that was wrong. And I so was wrong. like, "Where is your mom? Where is your mom?" And all this, I I'm like, I know. I hope she didn't know you were going to do it, but next time you get the inkling to do something like this talk to your mother talk to your sister mm-hmm. um, talk to your pastor and the talk to your pastor church. and 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 see what they say just at right. least listen to they somebody else to see what they say exactly right. they're not because, gonna have you doing no crazy and, right. you, know, mm-hmm. you have scott by your side that's wonderful that's great but a real i'm not gonna say he's not a real man let me rephrase that Something, somebody who really, really cares about you is going to keep you accountable. And accountability is telling you when you are wrong or maybe you should do things differently. And that's true Period. partnership. You came on that video with, I got some tea. Ooh, ooh. It was just so messy. messy. You came in so messy. And that's why I said you got humbled real quick because I noticed a lot of your videos, more thumbs down than thumbs up. Right. And that's sad. And you will. She's not going to lose her YouTuber. She's, she's going to keep she'll growing. Keep her- but let's hope that, you know, you, you've you learned, learned something from, from this. Amen. But I, I, I did want to finish saying what I wanted to say. 
about, you know, people are saying, oh, this is between Beloved and this is between Q. No, Q used us all. She went on YouTube and she used us all to, to drag Beloved and her family through the street. And I'm, I, I'm a little, dis I'm, I'm very disappointed that she did that, you know. Mm -hmm. I don't like to be used. We should all be looking at each other as sisters and brothers. Exactly. One fall, pick them up. Mm -hmm. and, and people have told you not to do certain things. And then you went ahead and did it anyway. And I just feel like, like it says, it takes a community to raise a child. And I'm not saying you're a child, child. but I, what I'm saying is... You're acting mm -hmm. childish. You're child. acting childish. Childish behavior. And that's childish behavior. And you should be woman enough to say you know what let me go to my sister and tell her how i felt before putting it out there in the community making it look like you are just throwing her straight under the bus right yeah. my sister was under pressure that's why she apologized the trolls were coming at her me right. just say, it's not true her apology was, was so sincere it was so sincere and it almost made we me, can like, all learn a lot very, from chelsea very emotional and i i really I really think that it came from a sincere place. Mm -hmm. I think I, I even kind of watched on the video and she she almost looked to me like she was almost questioning some of the things that she was saying. Mm -hmm. like she, she, she cried. She cried because it hurt her. It cried because her perceptions were wrong. She didn't cry for herself. It wasn't mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. me. I really I would like to go back and see how many times you said me in that little apology. Me, 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 me. Mm. Also, Q, you it know, takes all of us to run this world. It's not about you. Also, I did want to say, though, had you taken some time, because I did read through a lot of the comments on your first video and your second video. A lot of those people, <laughs> she should. If these are your fans and you felt something and this was so passionate for you to the point where you cried for eight hours i would be reading through comments trying to you know see what my fans are saying yeah. whatever yeah some of those people said some very very compassionate things mm -hmm. and really told you things that were the truth and you still very compelling con very compelling and you mm -hmm. still proceeded to make hateful videos and and disrespect um you know, be loving her family totally and utterly. So I question, are, how, you know, your loyalty to your fan base. And are you listening to what your quote unquote fans are saying? People <clears throat> that, that are following part. you. Are you I, listening to what I they're became, saying? I became a subscriber because of you were on Beloved's channel. That's when I first started thinking about YouTube, going on, doing a little investigation and stuff. And I said, oh, wow, you know, Beloved's doing this collab with this young girl. Went to your channel, subscribed. But I unsubscribed at least one month before all this began because I was noticing a very negative energy from you. I have had you say a couple of things to me. I know you don't know me from a can of paint, and I don't know you from a can of paint. But a couple of negative things. I was in your live. I said, what do you feel about ASMR? I hate ASMR. Wow, really cute. Thank you. And we're all part of the and same then, right? That part. And then I we're asked. to do the same. I, thing. I, 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 you were like, I don't know how I got invited to BeautyCon. Blah blah blah. I said, Q, didn't you have a beauty camp channel before this? Maybe that's where it came from. I said, it'd be nice if you be transparent. Uh -huh. And you're like, what are you talking about? You don't even know what you're talking about. I was like, oh, this girl, this energy it wasn't good. You know, we we are on this earth. We're we're here. We're here to work together. We got to be better. We got to be better. Better than this. Yeah, Absolutely. and learn from better. our mistakes. Nobody's perfect. Nobody. But, nobody. Not you me. You know, you had a, a good amount of time to sit and mull over what was being said, and to mull over, you know, your actions, and you decided to to definitely go a real negative way not i won't i will not subscribe to you that that's the end of that i'm sorry but i had to do the same thing and i was watching up until then and it was like until there's a sincere I up, apology i won't right mm -hmm. and, and if that would happen i i know i would be forgiven enough to go back and subscribe right but I just, I, I have to say that I was really watching you. Uh, I enjoy watching you because I look up to people that are have been there and they've got their channel pretty much 
um, um, that are doing things doing, and, yeah, and doing accomplishing things. And accomplishing the, the goals things. that we all are looking for. Yeah, to. we're all trying to do. But then yeah. when I seen that, that just really hurt my heart. Deeply hurt my heart because not only was I watching you and I like your channel, I like Beloved channel. And to do that, even me watching her and being a good judge of people, I sincerely believe they were good people. All of them, they still are. They're good people. The whole family. Um, and to watch Beloved cry, I mean, come yes, on. Yes, that dude. really, really, really hurt <laughs> my gotta, heart. That brought tears to my eyes. Wow. And she had, her, she had her son drive there to meet you guys at your house. He drove six hours. You six drove eight. Hours. He drove six. Who would... Who would have their kid, their son, drive six hours to treat you to like treat a you peasant? Like treat you like a peasant. Do you know? Do, I mean, it's why it, do she? Do we understand that? that you're expect you were happy, you were excited, and they didn't dance a jig for you when you got to the door and kiss your feet, or or sometimes we set extremely high expectations. Mm -hmm. We do this even when we date. You set these high expectations. Mm -hmm. Got to be this, and you got to be that. And when someone doesn't meet it, you're so disappointed. But not, but that's, but um, I'm sorry, sorry. Her reaction was not a normal one. If you cried eight hours home, well, like, and I no, hope you're I'm lying not about saying that. that the, I'm not saying the reaction was, <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just like, well, what happened? You went to someone's house. Like, people come to my house all the time. You know, it's not like my kids are going to be greeting them at the door like the Partridge <laughs> family. Like, they might be in their rooms chilling and they might come down when they come down. Um, would, would, would you say that my kids are being disrespectful? No, they're at home. They're hanging out. They, they're my, not, or they're so, shy. Someone came to see me, not to see Everybody's them. shy is not like... They're I, not all the same. Yeah. I was like, a shy, a very shy teenager. And for you to say what you said about Darius, I was like, he's, I could tell he's shy. Common sense to tell yeah, you he's shy. Even not. though he's on the camera joking with his mom, he's comfortable with right, his mom. Right, with his mom. Right. It's a it, it could be a persona and that's okay too. Uh, my daughter is she's 17. She sees somebody she's going to smile and say hi, but you might not see her the whole time you're there cuz she's going to go up in her room. She's not going to greet you with a big old hug unless I say go give her a hug. She's not going to do it. Not going to happen. But she's a sweet person that that yeah. embraces people and if she, you know, come out, get to know you, you see her a little bit and you be around her more, that's different. Yeah. But or it, even like with my daughter, she has the what's the word, the resting bee face. That's just the way she looks. She getting on his for oh, me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I had to learn even she had myself. She was a baby. She's had a she was a baby. People used to be like, what's wrong Why with her? She's angry. You're like, no, that's just how she looks. Okay? Really? Same way. My so daughter's same way. She's 12 now, and I have to tell her sometimes, smile, look friendly. It's not that she's not friendly. She's super social. Or when mm -hmm. she walks to the car get, from school, I'm like, what happened at school? Why? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. I'm like, oh, okay. That's just how she looks. <laughs> But that, but people have a certain perception. Mm -hmm. Like, is she okay? Is everything okay? Are you good? Is and she angry? Is she is mad? She angry? Why no, she frowning? That's just how you know, she I looks. mean, but but you, you're thirty. You're over thirty. Come on now, girl. You have to Come take on. things at a certain sort of value in a certain sort of yeah. context. You cannot make assumptions about how people feel or what's going on or it can. It, even if they were being rude to you, maybe there was something going on behind the scenes, a personal right. family you issue. Don't, you never you know. Don't know. Don't make it, about it, about it is not always about you. That part right there, because you don't know what the next person's going through. Right. And they may be trying to, to make put on a, a good front for you. For you. Exactly. And it's not happening because of this other thing. Because Uncle Bubba could have just got anything. admitted to the hospital yesterday. Anything. And they don't want to share that with you. But we're going to keep going right. and, and act like nothing happened. Yep. If you don't, if you stop being so self-centered yep. and thinking about yourself that in every situation, yep. you may actually learn something. Yeah. Because anybody, part. I mean, I, I don't understand why you wouldn't think about that first. Maybe something's going on. Oh, That's why you where you should have thought as a woman. Let me call her up and see if everything, if everything is, okay. is okay. Before you know, I, I put that video you know, out. Call her. B, I noticed your interview was a little different than I expected. Anything going on? Right. You okay? Yeah, are you okay? Yeah. Anyway, any last comments, y'all? No. All I want, well, yes. All I want to say is I really hope that 
you know, you definitely come to terms with your part and how messy this was. I really hope you come back and give a sincere apology and do some self-reflection <clears throat> because when you live an ugly life, when you don't, when you don't look at things from different perspective and um, outlooks, then you you definitely live your life like ugly and messy. Yeah, you know. And me, I want to say this: that God is love, and if you love like like God loves, you wouldn't do that. You wouldn't um, go to, uh, dislike somebody and. Um, put them down the way you did her whole entire family you will love her enough to understand and respect her point and what's going on with her first and at least call her and find out what's going on that's love instead of making her look bad and throwing her under the bus or trying to make her look bad yeah she don't yeah she doesn't she she's thrived off of your situation i want i want to say also um, and I hope I hope I'm not speaking incorrectly about this because I don't know enough about YouTube. But it was said that you waited until after the 11th of the month to take the videos down so that you could make sure. That's the 11th of the month is the date they they say mm -hmm. YouTube closes their books for your next paycheck. So you had a lot of views off of those two checks, um, off of those two videos. Excuse me, and so you or it was actually three videos mm -hmm. um so you waited till after the 11 made sure that your next check's gonna be a little mm -hmm. cushy um live your life right live your life girl right. live your life right uh, money is it can be it is the root of all evil and only mm -hmm. if you allow it only to if be. you allow it be true to and, yourself and the other thing is don't sit up there and and get and say this is my truth this is my truth and pull videos down if you're pulling videos down, then you're that not being transparent. Good. Right. You're trying to pick and choose what type of image you want to put out into the universe. If it's your truth, then leave it up there. Quit po quit posting crap and taking it down. You are notorious for that. Be real. Keep it 100. Mm -hmm. Because obviously you weren't because you put it up and take it down. And if, if that was truly happening to you, why would you take it down? Yeah. There is no way all that stuff you said in that video. I mean, you drugged that family. And that, you and could have said even make sense. you could have said what you were trying to say without dragging those people. Yeah, and you yeah. drug them. You talked about Nate so bad. You talked about Darius. You didn't even give us anything that made us think that they did anything no, wrong. I'm still waiting. I'm still no waiting. I'm still no waiting for what she didn't, happened. But she didn't that was even so say. Traumatic. She didn't even say anything. All she said is their energy wasn't there. Right. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Sometimes that, I mean, energy isn't there. That's all. Oh, that's happened. I'm sure it happened to you. It happens all the time. Somebody's seen you and yeah. you're like, oh, be, uh, she she kind of a little down than she normally right. is. Come and I, I get it. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. I just started this and, and sometimes I'm down and I'm trying to make myself look there. But I know it's not happening. We, it's I've not, watched it's some not. I've watched some accused videos where I'm like, ooh, somebody must have pissed her yeah, off. Yeah, it's like, oh, something's when going on with her today. Angry. Or she's telling us she's your, angry. That's you another know, thing. Forehead vein popping out. <laughs> I mean, we all and, go through and it. And that's why I stopped, I stopped subscribing because there were too many negative, yeah, people doing this to me and people right. doing that yeah. to me. Like, I really don't want to yeah. hear that, Q. Go deal with those people. Right. That's what you should do. Mm -hmm. yeah. You don't have to put it all out there. This you is don't. not. You don't. This is you not talk, the reality right. show. Right. You talk. You had a video <laughs> about eat with Keen. There was oh. another video which I thought was related to your aunt who has a new ASMR channel where you was like, people want me to help them, and you went through a whole thirty minutes of ooh. Drama. I was like, wow, 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 girl. You know. Anyway. We just wanted to put this out here yeah. again. It affects us all, all on YouTube. It affects us as black women. women. Let's work together, not against each other. Yes. Yes. And if we have a problem and we need to figure out what's going on, holler at your girl. Please don't put all the, We're already stereotyped as being exactly. negative and catty. Don't put that crap into the exactly. universe for them to exactly. say, oh, this is exactly what we were yes. saying exactly. about that this. part. Bury yeah. it. Yeah. Period. That's it. All right, everyone. All right. Thank you for tuning Thank in. Thank you for Thank watching. You. Please subscribe.
And um, leave us a comment. Please leave us a comment. Anybody that hit has that anything, bell so hit you'll the be bell. notified whenever we have a new video. And check us. this out. Don't forget to eat with more love. love. And love what you eat. Bye-bye.